the cannibal keep of Hexham is certainly looking more complete, yet its residents are far from complete. They have just survived two raids in quick succession, and unfortunately for them, it is not over yet. Even though we were only meant to fight two groups, it appears there is a third that is on their way right now, and they are angry. The snow has been stained by blood, and before the day is out, there is going to be oh so much more. All hands to battle stations, as 13 enemies are about to rain down upon us. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to RimWorld Biotech, where we are dealing with a fair number of foes, and oh boy, you're the one that we're meant to be protecting, so how about we do our best to get you to head back to here around, uh, well, this very, very large group. They all do seem to be using melee weapons, which is a good change, and we might be able to take advantage of that. Let's get Isaac up to that point there, Char right behind, and you know what, Jonathan, we'll get you on that corner there. Jesse, you do have a rifle, don't you? Ooh, we can probably put that to use. And then, uh... Our three melee characters will get you waiting in front. Looks like, ah, Jesse can actually get a shot from back here. Oh, they're going for the bear. Well, that's not nice. I really don't appreciate that. Okay, well, let's see. Isaac, what's your range like? Oh, you can, you, you can definitely get them. You can get them from all the way back here. Okay, Ben, just pop to the side for now. Yeah, that's a good opening volley, I'd say. Good work, good work. Okay, this is going to be, uh... Close. We're injured, but oh wow. Okay, we've already got that lot fleeing. And we have visitors. How many? Two. You've really chosen a poor time to show up, but hey, uh, maybe, you, maybe you'll be able to help us. I mean, I'd rather you don't get into a fight with them. And right now, it looks like we are just kind of cleaning things up here. Come on. You know what? We are going to long jump out in front of you. And let's strike. Come on, Lillian, you can do this. There we are. Okay, and there's just one that's managed to get away. Troin, let's get you over here. Ha, ah, and we can take a moment to go and blood feed. Jonathan, let's get you to do the same as well. We'll get you to blood feed off of uh, this one here. Yeah, we don't need to keep this lot alive. And in actual fact, it's better if they're not. Are you chasing this one down? Oh no, you're fleeing. That's fair, you're just a little one. We could take this time to rest and recover. Or we could push the advantage. And I think, <laughs> I think we're gonna be pushing. Because they're all melee, I'd like to try and see if we can bait them across this water here. Oh, you're still bleeding out. Three hours, I think you're gonna make it. Jonathan, let's make a quick save here. We'll go and coagulate, save our bear. There we go, all right. And you'll just have to wait there for now. We're gonna send Jesse up with this rifle because he's got the, uh, most significant range. All we really need to do is get one or two good shots and cargo pods? Cargo pods. Okay, there, there's quite a few there. Anything good? Oh, yeah, I mean, raw fungus. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take the raw fungus. All right, how are these shots going? Nothing yet. We could get you a little bit closer, but I do want you to be able to run away should something go wrong. Okay, nothing yet. A level up and shooting. That's nice. I do like all the sound effects that they've got for extra stuff now. It's a nice touch. Also, they have like different voices. Ha! Huh, now we got you fleeing. It's not enough to set the whole group off, but we should be able to get a few of them angered enough that they are going to want to charge us. Come on, come on. You know what? I think we're going to have to move up even closer. This is where it starts to get a little dangerous. Oh, yeah, I'd say that's dangerous enough. All right, now it's time to run. Back as fast as you can, Jesse. Keep on going. Are you stopping? All right, then. You can fire from here. There we are. Good. Edith is exhausted. Oh, and they're beginning their assault. Okay, so back here with you. Oh, I did not realize you were up here. <laughs> Sorry, lad. Um, You're going to be in a spot of trouble then, aren't you? You really are. Okay, do all the damage that you can. I mean, that's not a bad start. Yeah, you've got one of them down. 
Let's just get you moving for now. Jesse's making his way back across the water. It's pretty much a full melee front here because Isaac decided to, um, well, go and sleep. Oh, yeah, you did so well for so long. Um, so long to you then. We're gonna let them get a little closer before we go for just like a full on melee. Sending the animals in and we're gonna put them on search and destroy. Here we go. Into the mix. We've even got Troyne in there as well. We're doing pretty good damage. Okay, Ben's down. That's fine, Ben. You're gonna live, right? Yeah. Okay, and Bayuk is the last of this group. And up here, okay, the rest of them are fleeing. Our friend is down. Although we, I don't think he's gonna die. It's just bruises, really. Edith is in a bit more of a pickle, so let's deal. No, not blood feed. <laughs> let's coagulate Edith first of all. And Ben, I just, yeah, you're having a bad time. Okay, let's go rescue Ben. Jesse will get you rescuing Chara. Okay, all right. Pick up Edith for me, please. Oh, Liliana's down. Uh, why? I guess just because of pain? Hard to know for certain. You know what? Just in case, pop back and coagulate for us, thanks. Just needed to separate them to make sure that we don't accidentally coagulate our enemy. There we go, you're better. And while we're here, let's just do some blood feeding. It does say Kenna will die, that's okay. We're going to need to uh, coagulate our beer friend here too. Isaac, you showed up a little late, but we appreciate it all the same. Go and rescue Edith, please. Jesse's suffering from hypothermia. Yeah, yeah, you don't actually have much on. And Oh, well, I'm sorry that we didn't get to trade with you guys. We were a little busy. Just a little. We have a very, very large supply of bodies now. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, we need to get those hauled. An infection in her right thumb. Okay, Edith will keep our eyes on that. I'm intrigued. We'll try and coagulate that first. Oh, a tendable wound. Okay, so I guess for infections, it still needs to be proper medicine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, how nice. And we have some more visitors. Welcome. Don't mind all the blood and the corpses. Well, the shuttle has finally arrived, which I believe means we'll be getting our extra colonist. We do need to get everyone into the shuttle. Isaac, not loud. Are you just going to... Really? I guess they're finding their own way. Yeah, okay. Sent. Yup. <laughs> oh, plague. Really? A plague on all our grizzly bears. Well, that's something we're just going to have to deal with, isn't it? Shinichi. Shinichi, let's see. Hi. Hi there. Uh, okay. What do we got going on with you? Bio-wise, you're an undergrounder. That's great. A tortured artist and a recluse. Really not much going on here, though, in terms of, um, well, any kind of ability. <laughs> what are you? You're a believer of the high army. You've got some cooking potential and you've got potential with animals. Ah, well, you'll be able to clean up and help us with the day to day. Shinichi, you shall now be known as Eric Prison. Ha! Huh. Ah, uh, you just gave birth to twins. Two little lambs. Well, I'll be damned. It's taken a lot to get them to survive this winter. Yeah, come the next winter, we're going to have a lot of hay put away. Well, just checking back in with Edith, and that infection is gnarly. The immunity is just ahead of the infection at the moment. It's, uh, well, we're going to keep a close eye on this. Okay, there we go. It started climbing ahead now. I think she's going to be just fine. Hey, with some of the wool from our sheep, we've actually been able to make a veil. A veil that will be worn by Edith as our sanguinator. That's going to make her happy. Although, oh, we're not actually seeing it while she's wearing that toque. Interesting. Oh, a raid. Well, it's only three of them. That's certainly better, but... They're from Nexosonsis. <laughs> yeah, three of them. And what do you have? Th they're horns. Those are horns. What are you? You are impids. Impid cultures live on many rim worlds and dry death worlds. Impids are extremely fast moving, easily tolerate high temperatures and can spew fire from their mouths. Though they are masters of the sand, impids struggle in other environments. Well, you're not going to like the cold now, are you? No. Okay, well, 
let's get everyone outside and ready. Eric, you don't have a weapon right now, and that skill, oh boy. Let's just get you grabbing a bolt action for the moment. And yeah, they're not attacking just yet. I don't think we're going to want to wait around, though. And start to move up and meet them. Wow, now that's a candidate. Look at that medical skill. Bloodlust, Night Owl, Jogger. The pessimist, we can deal with that. As a childhood, you were a killer, and now you're a healer, trying to turn your life around, huh? Well, let's see. Might be able to keep you alive, eh? Well, it looks like the fight is going to begin in just a moment here. Okay, they're in okay cover. Oh, okay, North is just straight up down. Ah, uh, hmm, you know what we're going to do here? Yeah, we're going to go and long jump in. Lillian, start moving on up. And let's get you to long jump right on top of Hakuja here. All right, that's a miss. That's all right. Let's carry on the attack from behind. And yeah, let's see if we can keep her alive. Maybe, maybe. I mean, oh, there we go. <laughs> you are alive. You're dying in an hour. So we're probably going to... Let's, let's coagulate those wounds there. And hope that you don't get shot by any other bows. No, you're okay. You're okay. And you are going to survive. You, uh, we could care less, I suppose. A jogger, pessimist. I mean, you can also spew fire, but then again, Hakuja can do that. Just go and have your feed there. Jonathan, how about you come and enjoy as well? We will need to set up somewhere to be a prison, and I suppose it could be here again. Yeah, we'll just move the beds out into the hallway for now. Sorry, Jesse and Eric. Lelion, patch yourself up. Oh, there we go. Dead. And that made you happy, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Witness death with bloodlust. Ah, just a couple things, huh? And I know we actually have a lot of meat right now, but we're going to mark some of these muffalos for hunting. Wow, Hakuja. You're here. That's fantastic. Uh, let's make sure that we actually get you put into a, a bed properly. One that's going to stay around for a little while. There we are. And so, having a look at the prisoner tab here, we are going to want to convert you first and then recruit. Because, yeah, Jesse and Eric, we need to do a fair bit before we're able to win them over. Well, just earlier they were feeding on a man <laughs> to death and now they're just relaxing by the fireside playing some chess together. Ooh, call to the sire opportunity. Every year on the 15th of December, kindreds, well it's meant to be kindred, can have a special celebration. And so we shall. We'll just wait until the morning. Actually, you know what? Now is the perfect time. I know it's late. But night is when we should be doing this. We have a 75% chance of a success here. It's clouded. It's dark. Go grab some wood and make yourselves some little lanterns. And that marks the beginning of spring. Well, isn't that nice? As the lights drift up into the sky, will we be seen by the great progenitor? Or will this display be passed on by? They will await eagerly as Jonathan could eat a horse. Wow, they really do just keep on drifting on up, huh? Oh, disappearing just around about there. I think that will mark the end. Oh, unimpressive. Well, we still got some development points, but just really not that much. Oh, minus one mood could be worse, I suppose. Oh, and a torso infection. All right, Hakuja, we will actually try to save your life. 100% quality. I think you're going to be okay. Yeah, another infection. Yikes. Okay, well, the immunity is already up, and I think that's maybe because of this or something to do with one of your xenotypes. Regardless, we'll still give you treatment. Marriage is on? Okay. Lilion and Jonathan are to be married. And Jonathan is going to be changing his last name to Bevent, which I suppose is good because of the blood of Bevent and everything like that. Let's chuck down a spot for that then. Okay, folks are starting to gather for the marriage. Jonathan, there we go. All right, he's here now. Lilion, you gonna... Oh yeah, all right. The wedding's happening. And we've even got some extra visitors. All right. Ah, there we go. The exchanging of vows and well they've got eternity together now because uh they are effectively immortal they are deathless yeah i think fire is the only way that you can destroy a sanguifage in this or maybe just straight up explosions that could work too so quite the commitment 
Let us wish them a happy unlife together. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a small social fight there. It's fine. Ben, did anything get cut off? Just your ear. You'll be okay. I don't know about you, but it's not a real wedding unless someone loses an ear. Okay, and the marriage ceremony has finished. They're now husband and wife, and I imagine they probably have some pretty significant mood bursts from that. Yeah, they do. They really do. What about everybody else? I mean, you got a catharsis there, but no? Did you not attend? Yeah, there we go. 20 attended wedding. As part of a very temporary measure, we're just gonna run a cable inside here so that we can actually get this freezer going, running off of the wood fire generator. We are still working on the geothermal research, but it's a lot of research for them to do. Conversion. Okay, Eric tried to convert Jesse. <laughs> well, okay, so they changed ideologies, but just not the one that we want to, not yet. <laughs> Ah, I just noticed something about our prisoner, Hakuja. Um, she's actually missing a leg. Not the end of the world, but a significant injury. Caravan animals. A group of yak. Okay. Hmm, what do you got? An interesting mix of things that I wouldn't mind taking from you. We're going to mark all three for hunting and just hope that we are able to acquire some of that. There's so many more animals here now than there were before. Yeah, we are not having the food woes that we had early on in the winter. Right now, we've still got just under 400 human meat left over and some very interesting pemmican that we've made out of raw fungus, meat and eel. Yum. Ha. Huh. Healed. Scarless. Okay. Wow. That's neat. I didn't realize that that was something that Sanguophages could do as well, but yeah, is that... Oh yeah, Scarless. Carriers of this gene have a special type of regenerator cell which can heal old wounds and chronic illnesses like a bad back. Very nice. A mad muffalo. And it's just one of them for now. Nothing that we aren't going to be able to handle ourselves. Got a few shots out at the thing. The bolt action rifle's doing what they're meant to be doing. As soon as it gets a little bit closer, that's when we are going to send Lilion in to try and cut this thing down. Easy done. Well, it does look like Jonathan is going to have to death rest real soon. So we're trying to put down some of these new items here. The death rest accelerator, the glucosoid pump, and also the hemogen amplifier. And I think we are going to have everything we need for those. Actually, no. We don't have any hemogen packs. Well, okay. Hmm. You know what? Oh, we have been trying to convince you to join us, and that has been working. We've been getting there slowly but surely, but uh, we might just have to try and take some hemogen from you. Yeah, thank you, Lilion. I think we only get one at a time here, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep, our, keep a close eye on that for now. We're actually just going to tell them to not consume any either. But hey, we did manage to get the death risk accelerator and the hemogen amplifier in. So we had enough hemogen to get those done, but we won't for this one. We still need four more packs. All right. Well, if you do need to rest, I'd just say start resting now. We've at least got two of the things plugged in and uh, yeah, good. Hemogen amplifier has been bound to Jonathan. Okay, so... I guess as long as we kind of switch them around in terms of when they're resting, they should be good. The accelerator will bind permanently on first use. Is that not connected? I mean, it seems like it's connected. Having a look at the hemogen amplifier, what is this going to do for us? This device leaves the death rester in a hemogen amplified state so they gain more hemogen from any hemogen source. Using a gland probe and a blood analyzer, it links with a death resting person, stimulating hemogen glands to a more active state. Lovely. And uh, yeah, this is a permanent bind, I think. We can move it around, so we'll just have to make sure that we build some of them in the future for Lilion and whoever else eventually partakes of the blood. Of course it's going to be Edith next, but as for who the other person might be, well, if Hakuja is on our side by then, she'd be a prime candidate. 
okay, 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 no, this is not all right. This is not all right. I suppose we're going to have to close the front doors. <laughs> We've just got a stallion and a wild boar that's just run in here and started eating our meals after a rat did something very similar. Yeah, no, we're, uh, <laughs> we're going to make sure that they don't leave. Just please don't destroy the place. Just shooting over the top of Jonathan. All right, that's that down. Just the boar to go. Edith, thank you for uh, fixing things up. <laughs> Gosh, such a mess. Eric, you can do this. I believe in you. You got terrible shoot, but, you know, you got heart. That's a better angle. Come on. Ah, oh, good work. Now let's get this place cleaned up. Oh boy, it's been a long time coming, but we now have a geothermal generator. We're gonna to need to make sure that we properly protect this thing, so we are gonna be chucking a wall around it. We're just gonna keep the roof off though. I can't believe that. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Edith just botched the construction. Ah, oh dear. Ah, oh, there it is. In all its glory. We still need to get it sealed up. And yeah, no batteries, no batteries. So it's just gonna be a whole load of power just filtering in here, but it does mean that we're going to slowly be able to start to filter out some of the torch lamps and all the rest. Although, I think in saying that, we don't actually have any... No, we do have some standing lamps. I stand corrected. Ah. Oh, one of our rams passed. We had food. We'd been feeding it, but just... It wasn't enough. And, uh, you know what? Stop that. We have a final death opportunity because it is a venerated animal. Ah, but we need an electric crematorium to do that. You know what? <sighs> okay, let's pop it out the back there. We now have ourselves an electric smithy. And, ah, oh, good, it's reaching the network at the moment. And just after getting that little lamb fed, we are going to do the final death here. Oh, crafter. Oh, someone with artistic talent. Oh, geez, who's that going to be? Yeah, Lillian has, like, a tiny bit of artistic talent. You know what? Better than nothing, I suppose. Let us all gather around the smelter as we bring the final death to this venerated ram. And there it is. The flames slowly taking it. And Lillian stepping in. The speech is over, this is the actual ceremony itself, and it takes, takes a while. We're without Jonathan, he is still in his death rest for now. Let's cross our fingers, flip the coin, and see if this is good. It was! And we got, oh, we actually got an urn out of that. An amazing final death. Plus eight mood for six days for everyone present. I like it. Well, all things considered, I'd say that turned out pretty well. Let's go and put this urn in here. Yeah. A nice way to remember the fallen. There's no art on it. Or rather, no, there is. An illustration of an oak tree. Well, thank you, Lillian. And as the urn is put in place, it's not long now till Lillian is going to have to rest. Thankfully, Jonathan is nearly at the end of his death rest. But I really want to get some more tech for us in here so that we can have the best rest possible. And as for the rest of our home, today I have focused on just sharpening things up. Nearly all the walls have been smoothed and once that's done, that's when we're going to start thinking about expansion. You see the room that currently has our prisoner, Hakuja, in there, that's going to be our main hospital wing. It is over here to the east that our hemogen farm will be built. A spiraling network of cells containing oh so delicious blood. But that is all a plan for another time. For now, spring has sprung. The cold is leaving us, and with the new life that spring brings, we'll be sure to make the most of it, expanding our planting and readying our defenses for our foes that will no doubt follow. I now ask you, Legionnaires. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. They sure have missed having their main cook around, haven't they? Jonathan will be back very soon. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time.
stay tuned. And finally, I would like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this content possible. 